is pleased to offer multiple air suspension repair and replacement options for the 2003 to 2012 Bentley Continental, 2006 to 2012 Bentley Flying Spur, and the 2004 to 2006 Volkswagen Phaeton. One of the signs of an air suspension leak is when the compressor fails because it is overworked. Arnott offers ready-to-install OES air suspension compressors that are tested and fitted with application-specific mounting hardware. In this video, we show how to install the Wabco air suspension compressor from Arnott for the Bentley and Phaeton. Compressor Assembly Removal Removal Step 1 – Prepping for Removal Set the steering to straight ahead. Begin by disconnecting the battery. Use a platform that is capable of raising the body separately from the wheels. Lift the body at the lifting points prescribed by the vehicle manufacturer. Loosen and remove the fasteners holding the cover, which is towards the rear of the vehicle, to expose the vehicle's air suspension compressor assembly. Removal Step 2 – Disconnecting the power and air lines to the air compressor. Remove the wiring harness clips from the compressor assembly. Disconnect the three electrical plugs from the compressor assembly to the vehicle. Slowly loosen and remove five air lines leading from the vehicle to the valve block. Remove the air lines from the retaining clips. Locate the rubber hose. Slide the spring clamp down the hose. Separate the rubber hose from the T-fitting. Removal Step 3 – Removing the Air Compressor Remove the three mounting bolts and hardware holding the compressor assembly to the vehicle. Remove the compressor assembly from the vehicle. Removal complete. Air suspension compressor installation. Install step one, prepping for installation. Set the pump assembly on a workbench and begin by removing the airline fitting from the compressor. Remove the airline fitting from the air hose and discard. Remove the wiring harness and plugs from the mounting clips. Remove the three mounting bolts before removing the compressor from the mounting bracket. Set the mounting bracket aside. Remove the two screws and metal shield from the old compressor and install onto the new one.
Remove the long compressor bolt holding the airline mounting clips and reinstall them onto the new compressor. Route the compressor's wiring harness underneath the valve block and through the mounting bracket. Install the new compressor onto the mounting bracket and secure with the three mounting bolts. Remove the white shipping pin and install the airline from the valve block to the new compressor. Mount the plugs to the mounting clip. Install step two, installing the compressor and airlines. Reinstall the compressor assembly onto the vehicle. Reinstall the three mounting bolts and hardware to secure the compressor assembly to the vehicle. Reinstall the rubber hose to the T-fitting. Slide the spring clamp back onto the rubber hose. Reinstall the air lines into the retaining clips. Carefully tighten the five air lines leading from the vehicle to the valve block. Reconnect the three electrical plugs onto the compressor assembly. Replace the cover and tighten the fasteners. Replace the relay, which is found in the trunk, with the one provided in the kit. Installation complete. Install step three, testing. Start the engine, wait two minutes. Operate the raising function of the car's electronics. Most compressors go bad because of an air leak which causes the compressor to overheat. Don't void your compressor's warranty. Inspect your air springs for any leaks, cracks, or excessive wear.